veganism. Who boy. Who boy, who boy, who boy. Let's talk about veganism. What is veganism, huh? Does anybody, do we know what veganism is? Are we going to paint with super broad strokes? No. Why don't you people chill? See, this is exactly why we're going to be talking about veganism. See, the moment I bring up veganism, a bunch of people immediately get their hackles up and start fucking freaking out. The, the instantaneous, just instantaneously. Oh, uh, type exclamation insta. Veganism, veganism is when the government does stuff. And the more stuff it does, the more vegan it is. Veganism, veganism is a belief system that aims to, uh, to uh, address the use of, of animal cruelty in all types of products. From food, to clothing, to dairy, to all kinds of, well I guess that's a, that's a food, but to, to makeup. Yeah, vegans. Vegans, uh, or veganism, I should say, is a belief system that aims to stop the horrendous action of um, uh, the, the, the horrendous action of, of abusing animals en masse. And let me tell you something real quick. Before we get, uh, before we even get into it, let me just tell you, animals are not treated well in our society. Holy shit, they are not treated well in our society. I don't know if you know this, but um, the, uh, the, the animal agriculture industry is one of the most disgusting and horrifying things you can think of. Not only is it horrifying in its, in, in, in its concept that we basically have decided that, uh, that there is uh, millions upon millions of, of, of living beings that feel pain that have desires and wants, even if they're not as intelligent as us. Um, um, that that they're okay for us to um, to kill, to kill for our own for our own uses. Now that concept alone is pretty problematic, you know. I mean, what right do we have to to, to constantly take the lives of others, especially those of us who believe that we should. Uh, minimize suffering, right? But it gets a lot worse, okay? It gets a lot worse. Because not only have we decided, not only have we decided that we have the right to kill animals um, and use and instrumentalize living creatures that are capable of feeling pain, that are capable of having memories and experiences, that are capable of love, that are capable of bonding, that have memories... Have we decided that it's okay for us to kill them for our own use? But we've also decided that we can do basically anything else that we want to to them. Real quick, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a quick hot take. How many people in chat? How many people in chat oppose bestiality? Huh? Anybody? Do you want to get a vote? Can can we get a vote on that? Can we get a uh, can we get a poll on that real quick? Yeah, I figured. I figured. I figured. I figured it'd be a close call. Did you know that acts identical to bestiality are required on a daily basis in order to make the food that you eat, in order to to make the milk that you drink, in order to enjoy the the um the medicines that you have? Did you know that? I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't ever actually look into that, and most people haven't. I don't blame you at all. Most people don't know that we f that that the process of making milk, milk that you probably drink every single day in some form or another, requires humans or machines to forcibly impregnate animals on mass over and over and over again to a degree that they sustain injuries during this process. I mean severely. I mean they will sometimes have ripped organs as a result of the process that we use to produce milk. That we use to produce meat. This is a literally happening right now. As we speak, it is happening. If you are holding a glass of milk, it is happening. Okay?
And that's very, unfu un uh, very uncomfortable to confront, isn't it? It, it, is unco it is uncomfortable to confront that, right? It's sad to know. There is a lot of, um, there is a lot of, uh, of, of things that are pushed out of the eye because that's the only way for it to happen. Hold on, we'll get there. Ride with me here, okay? The reason why milk looks like cum, you don't want to know. Listen, you don't want to know what's in your milk. I promise you, you don't want to know what's in your milk. Are you are you ready? Are you ready to 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 get milk pilled? It's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. Did you know that it is constant it is a a constant issue that the milk machines that cows are hooked up to causes damage to their to their udders their udders will often tear rip and get infections they will have boils full of pus that get sucked into the milk machine and a lot of that a lot of that never gets filtered out Sometimes, and I'm about to tell you, this is shocking. This is some shocking shit. Sometimes their udders get turned inside out because the machines are turned up so high. I mean, this is common. This is You can look this up and find it out. That's how bad it is. And did you know that there are lots and lots of mostly immigrant humans who are forced to do, to, to do that work, who are forced to do that because they don't have any other choice? So even if you don't give a shit about the cow, even if you don't care about the cows, there are humans who are forced to do that work. Oh yeah, forced. Yeah, if you can only, I mean, did you know that most of the meat, pa like, like one of the most common jobs for immigrants is working in meat and dairy, is working in animal agriculture, because it is so unpleasant that most people will not do the job. You want to know what gets even what gets even worse, ready? It gets even fucking worse. Onion baked brings up they have a huge turnover rate because employers like Tyson will often inform will often snitch on their own workers uh to immigration to get them deported so that they don't have to pay long term. Yep. Hold on. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Because it get wor gets worse. We have the ability to implement more humane processes. And we don't. We don't. We have ways of killing animals that doesn't cause them pain. We have ways of extracting dairy products that um, cause them significantly less pain. We have ways of collecting eggs that cause less pain. We have ways of keeping animals where they do not have to be kept in cages. And we don't. And when I say we don't, I mean that I mean the meat industry doesn't. Animal agriculture doesn't do this. They just don't care. They don't. Animals in the animal industry in the animal industry in America often spend their entire lives in cages getting daily injections um, of uh, antibiotics to fight off uh, the infections that they get from standing in their own shit and piss. The runoff from animal agriculture often destroys the environment by infusing it with so much bacteria that it kills all the plants in a local area. They cut off the beaks of chickens so they don't peck each other. Yep. Now, some of you probably weren't expecting this to be the opener to this veganism segment. But the reason why I'm opening it like this is to show you that there is a way to talk about veganism that more effectively illustrates why we should care about animal rights. Because we should care about animal rights. Because it is good to care about animal rights. However... However, despite the vegan movement existing
for a very long time. We haven't really made much progress. The vegan movement has been around for a long, long time. We all have heard of vegans. We've all known, we've all known vegans, right? And yet the meat industry is as strong as ever. Which is a little bit weird, right? It's very, very weird. I wonder why that's the case. Don't you? I think I have the answer to why that's the case. And a lot of vegans seem to disagree with me. You see, a lot of vegans seem to think uh, that the problem with America and the problem with animal agriculture is that stupid carnists don't think about it enough or don't care at all. Um, they seem to think that stupid carnists are evil people who just love to chomp down on an animal and bite into their head and whatever. Um, and that has been um, a, a basically a, a part and parcel of the of the vegan movement for a long time. In fact, to the degree that, oh, my God, like, has anybody heard the joke? Uh, how do you know that you're, you're that somebody's a, a vegetarian? Oh, don't worry. They'll tell you. A lot of vegans, will, when you ask them, wow, when, when you find out that there's a whole bunch of terrible stuff in the meat industry and you go, well, what can I do to help this? People will go, well, <laughs> it's not hard. Just buy vegetables. Just eat vegetables. See, Athena Samurai, you did it too. It's the just move solution. And um, every single time I talk about this, every single time I talk about this issue, I get a lot of people mad at me. Oh, I get a lot of people mad at me. Every time I do a segment on veganism, I get a lot of people mad at me. Some of you have seen... Uh, a debate that happened that was a very bloody debate where all I was trying to do was eat some dinner that my partner brought me that did happen to have meat in it. Yep. And I was heckled from chat about being a murderer, uh, eating a murder sandwich. Um, and uh, wow. I mean, thanks for letting me know. Do you think I didn't know that? Do you think I, I didn't recognize that? Zoe Vex, thank you so much for the tier three sub. Seriously, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. Most of the time, when you talk to a vegan, every when, when I even say the word vegan, people roll their fucking eyes. They roll their eyes. Isn't that sad? A movement that is that is fighting such a righteous fight. A movement that is, oh my god, they are so correct on the moral claims. And yet, they've not really done anything. We still have phenomenal amounts of meat consumption. Amber Rasick, thank you so much. And here we have always the solution is, hey, why don't you just buy my new vegan prog product? Oh, no. Oh, why don't you just buy our new vegan ice cream or our new vegan cheese? And, you know, there's nothing wrong with vegan cheese or vegan ice cream. But the solution always seems to be buy product. Consume. Buy, consume this instead of consuming that. And they never, a lot of vegans don't even know don't even know about meat subsidies. A lot of vegans don't even know the first thing about food deserts. And their answer, their immediate answer is, just eat more vegetables, Five Head. Just buy more vegan products, which are usually grossly overpriced, Five Head. And some vegans will even get mad at you, even if 
you so much. I mean, I'm, and I mean a lot of vegans, even if you don't eat a lot of meat, but you occasionally eat a meat or you occasionally buy an animal product. And there are also, yes, of course, Prime038 brings up, there are, of course, the vegans who also try to force veganism on animals that are not evolved to be vegans. That's an unfortunate, uh, an unfortunate effect. Uh, some creatures don't have the digestive capabilities to eat vegetables. And it sucks, but... It's just a reality, okay? Eurus McPride, thank you. Uh, Eurus McProl, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. And this brings me to the thrust of this segment. The reason why I've been grandstanding and having fun with this. Uh, it brings me to an incredibly, incredibly interesting engagement that I came across on Twitter. And you all know I fucking hate. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do I hate agreeing with liberals. Oh, God, do I hate agreeing with liberals. You know? Doesn't it suck to agree with a liberal? But occasionally, the time comes in which you must agree <laughs> with a liberal. Cope and seethe? Oh, I'm not coping and seething. See, layman, as much as I hate agreeing with liberals, there is a time and a place. There is a time and a place. And I know when that time and place comes because I'm not a fool, because I'm not an idiot, because I think through my positions. And, uh, and I recognize when I'm in agreement with somebody who I might not always agree with. There we go. There we go. For a minute, me and layman are going to be like this. Let's take a look. Shall we? Shall we take a little look? I think we should. I think we should take a look. Vegan communities have an insane problem with moral elitism. Wow, is that not just the truth? Oh my God, could you drop a take that is more true than this? This is absolutely true. Every single time I talk about veganism, this is exactly what I encounter. I encounter moral elitism. The idea that if you're not a vegan, it's because you're stupid or evil. One of those two things. And I always like to point out that if that's true, if you're not a vegan and that makes you stupid and immoral or calloused or whatever, then that would also mean that the vegans who are shouting that out are also in the exact same camp because I know for a fact that none of the vegans that I've ever talked to sor sourced their own clothing, sourced their own computer, sourced their, uh, their computer parts to make sure there was no unethically child slavery sourced lithium or cobalt, uh, that their clothes were not picked uh with, with literal child slave labor in a in a in a in a country overseas thank you so much primo 38 deeply appreciate it. it means the world to me seriously thank you i know that these vegans hop into their car and drive to work without a second thought to the to the way that their uh their oil was attained to the way that their vehicles were constructed isn't that an appeal to nirvana fallacy i have no idea what the fuck that means and i don't care because if you're going to make claims that somebody is deeply morally wrong or evil for doing something for participating in something well you should have a good argument you should have a, a fucking good argument you should have a very good argument, shouldn't you? Right? And if you're a hypocrite on a whole bunch of other fronts, your ideology stops making sense. And see, the problem is that a lot of vegans are stuck with liberalism poisoning. And occasionally that leads to me agreeing with slightly more intelligent liberals. 
So let's continue through this thread, shall we? Oh, you've been conditioned through millions of years of human evolution to enjoy the taste of meat in a society where meat eating is the norm. Sounds like you're a piece of shit and should pull yourself up by the bootstraps, you cow de genocider. This is unironically, this is, is a little bit hyperbolic, but I don't think that this is out of vein with what I've encountered on this channel alone. What I've encountered in my own life with vegans. Most vegans I encounter talk almost identical to this. And as if to prove the point, let's take a look at this. Warning, a little bit of a content warning for a slur here. Just so people know, and I own up to the post probably shouldn't have been written like it was as an evidential statement. I don't see how approaching people like this is in any way, shape, or form anything but elitist. And look, we have our old favorite, Avi, and ask yourself. Hey, there's this huge insane problem in Community X. Um, okay, do you have any evidence? That this is that much of a problem in community x oh my god oh my god don't ask me to give evidence i was just venting about my personal experience this is really annoying also ask yourself calling me a r slur you all can see that word was completely uncalled for i think if this is how you go about your interactions i'm just going to block you both i already owned up to the bad communication just leave me alone bye bye r slur don't stab equals moral elitism clown thumbs up i don't see any reason to think that vegans are more elitist than any other movement i wonder what their evidence assuming they have any is good thing i wasn't making an argument and was just venting about my experiences with the vegan community and the reaction to it that i've observed in my own life okay so no evidence just checking asking for empirical evidence of personal experiences i'm just venting about on twitter seems pretty elitist to me can we get a block on this r slur Oh yeah, Avi also argued um also argued on Twitter that it would be moral to abort a fetus if you had a reasonable if you had reason to assume they would grow up to be a carnist. <laughs> Let me ask you, is that convincing to you? Is that effective to you? Do you think that the animals that are actively suffering are are being helped by you going around on the internet and calling people the, people the arsler? This is not just bad rhetoric. It is bad construction. It is a bad approach. It is an approach that makes no sense, that doesn't appeal to anybody, and is, n and is hypocritical on its core. It is hypocritical on its core. None of these vegans, it, it, any of these vegans, should easily be able to acknowledge that if they have a problem with animal agriculture on the basis of harm to sentient creatures, that they should have just as much of a problem with the mass exploitation of labor that occurs all across the globe. But they almost never do. They usually don't care. They go about with their fancy computers and their iPhones, their iPhones that were built in factories that have suicide nets because the work, the work conditions are so bad that people literally kill themselves to escape them. Interesting how that works out, isn't it? And they'll always find some stupid excuse. They find an excuse for their own actions, just like the carnists that they scream about. They always find an excuse for their action. But see, over here on this channel, we aren't stupid moralist idiots. I don't give a shit about whether you are a moral high horsing person. I don't fucking care if you want to get off on feeling like you're the most moral person around. Yeah? I don't care. You can't ex ex compare exploitation to mass murder? Guess what? I don't have to. I can, expl I can compare mass murder to mass murder. We would not split hairs if people were being put in a situation... Sent highly sentient humans with an incredibly complex system of memories capable of experiencing trauma and living long, long lives where those memories never fade are driven, are tortured 
to such a degree that they kill themselves on a regular basis in the factories where your iPhone was produced. That is not a false equivalency. That is a perfect equivalency. And any, and, and, and any vegan who disagrees with that is a moron and a liar. I really, really think so. But, you know, why not just call everybody a name? And, and, and let's, let's say something. Because, you know, I don't want to be uncharitable. And you know me. I do do my best, even when I'm spicy, to try and steel man the argument. So let's steel man the argument being made here by, uh, by ask yourself, um, calling, calling layman a arsler. Let's try and steel man the argument. The argument is that just because uh, the rhetoric is bad doesn't mean uh, well there's there's two parts to the argument the first is that just because the rhetoric is bad doesn't mean the cause is bad and that is true i agree i don't think that just because you have bad rhetoric that your cause is necessarily incorrect but the second argument um the the second argument here is that no they're not uh no vegans are not elitist and guess what there isn't much data on that. In fact, I don't even think I don't even think there's ever been a study done on. Uh, maybe there is. Maybe somewhere there is a study done on how elitist um, vegans are in comparison to other advocacy groups. However, in cases where there is no data, it is rational to seek out other forms of information. And interestingly, I've already done that for you. You see, throughout this segment, while I was telling you this information, I pointed out a number of facts that show that even if there isn't polling data on whether um, on whether or not vegans are more annoying than everybody else or not, because that won't ever happen, I have pointed out that the vegan the vegan movement has failed to succeed its goals that it has failed to convince more people to its cause outside of a small minority, mostly of people self-radicalizing, not because of meeting any vegans, but from people simply recognizing the obvious fact that killing animals isn't true. Their movement is as unpopular as it has ever been. People hate vegans. People fucking hate vegans. And they hate they don't hate vegans because vegans are wrong. They hate vegans because vegans are stupid and annoying and ineffective. All of us, I, I guarantee you, if I if I walked up to the average person and said, if you snap your fingers right now, we will have a world where animals are, are no longer hurt and you will be able to enjoy your life that everybody would snap their fingers with a few exceptions of for, for like like absurd republicans who are like i love my meat i like i savor the taste of the kill and those people you can't really reach but everybody else would absolutely go yeah for sure let's fucking do it vegan is literally a punchline Yes, it is. And vegan is a punchline because of people like this. <laughs> like this right here. Right down here. Here we go. This is why veganism is a punchline. Ooh, ooh, we got it. We got one in chat already. <laughs> Woohoo! I told you it was going to happen. Fridolin Balthazar says, sorry, but the arguments the host brings up sounds like, yeah, racism is bad and we need systemic change, but don't tell me to stop making racist jokes. It's too hard to stop. If you think that's an equivalent example, you are that is like the definition of bad faith. That is like the definition of bad faith. Come the fuck on. You're, we're not asking people to stop making racist jokes. An action that is phenomenally easy to accomplish and isn't a part of the, the parlance of every person. We are asking people to, you are asking people to overcome a 
deep an evolutionarily and socially ingrained action of meat eating. You are asking people to overcome one of the most pervasive things. And guess what? Some people really can't. And I've had this discussion many, many times. And every single time, do you want to know what happens? Every time I have this with one of these moral high horse vegans, they just say, oh, <laughs> just buy vegetables. It's not that hard, you fucking idiot. Americans are so stupid that they won't cook with vegetables. No, motherfucker. Americans are poor. They're worked to the bones. Americans are living through a pandemic. Americans have... Uh, um, Americans are part of a system that that literally gives free money to meat, making meat cheaper and more filling and more nutritious, at least to somebody who's just trying to survive, than, you, than the vegan alternatives or the just veggie options. In addition, most Americans grow up eating the food that they were given when they grow up. That is a well-recognized dietary fact. This is why changing nutrition is hard. This is why changing eating patterns is very difficult. And vegans never, ever, they hand wave the fuck out of the shit. They just go, oh yeah, well, whining, whining, whining. And another thing that happens, let me give you another argument that happens. Are you ready? Wow, you're the laziest vegan. Fritalin Balthazar. Now, what I said was just Google or YouTube cheap, easy, uh, quick, and simple vegan meals. I mean, we live in the age of information, right? Wow, you care so little about the rights of animals that all you, all you have. You care about animals so little that all you have is to tell people to Google it? Fucking pathetic. And yet you want to say you have the moral high horse. See, this is what vegans do. And this is why I argue that most vegans... Most vegans don't actually care about veganism. They care about feeling correct. They care about they care about everybody recognizing how moral they are. They care about jerking off in public so that they can make themselves feel good. And this happens without fail every single time I bring up veganism every single time and when I point out the fact that it isn't so easy as just eat no meat five head that it isn't so easy as just google how to make an entirely new diet do you realize that a lot of people in America don't even cook their own food because they can't because they work two jobs maybe three jobs like a lot of Americans are poor so yeah your argument works for rich people who aren't even the main consumers of meat the main consumers of meat is poor people. Poor people in America are the, are the main consumers of meat. And they eat meat because they don't have many other options. Or when they do have other options, it's very difficult for them to attain that. When I worked three jobs, I ate a diet. Guess what? And here's the funny thing. Are you prepared? Are you prepared? Ready? Guess what? When I was working three jobs, I ate a lot of fast food. And during that period of time... During that period of time, I was reducing my meat consumption and I still had vegans mad at me. And right now, I have gr drastically reduced my meat consumption and it's never enough for vegans. Because what did I tell you? Vegans don't give a fuck, by and large, about veganism. They don't care about animals. They care about jerking off in front of you. And this is why I say... I don't care if you're a vegan. All I care is that you do what you can to reduce animal abuse. Reduce your consumption of these things when you can. And you have to be the analyst of when you can. For me, we've reduced milk consumption. We've reduced meat consumption because that's what I'm able to do now that I have a stable job. When I didn't when I was when I was struggling in the middle of fire season in the winter, we didn't have the luxury of choosing food. When we couldn't cook because the power was out in our house, when I had to eat a specifically very low fat diet,
and there was a lot of food that would bother me, it was very, it became very difficult to maintain a vegetarian diet. Thank you, Janae Rose. I appreciate that. Ginger Snip Snap says, I work with a food giveaway program and the greatest need is always for veggies and fruit. Believe it or not, Americans love their veggies, but due to the price, they cannot afford them. You also have populations in the U.S. that were never introduced to many veggies due to the historical cost. Source, I'm a social worker 10 plus years. Yes. Very interesting, isn't it? I don't want to drink water. I want to drink this. Americans, many Americans live in food deserts. Food deserts that literally do not allow you to be picky about your food. If you live in a food desert, oh, we don't even, we won't even start on that one silent. Maybe another time. Um, for Anadexis, foraging is a really good way to do vegan for cheap. Every part of a dandelion is edible. Anadexis, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, but at the same time, who has time to go outside and pick dandelions and wash dandelions and learn how to cook a dandelion uh, 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 fucking salad for every meal of their life? I appreciate that, and it is cool. I think foraging is awesome. I really think foraging is awesome. I'm a big fan of that stuff. I research at, when we go out to go hiking, I research the forageable foods. It's fucking cool as shit. I think it's awesome, but come on. You think that the, the, the person who's driving for Uber, Lyft, and Uber Eats and is, is desperately trying to make enough money to make their rent is going to go outside and pick dandelions and then go online and relearn their entire diet? No, they're going to go to McDonald's and they're going to buy a fucking cheeseburger because the cheeseburger is cheap and you vegans don't give a fuck about addressing that. Yeah, yeah, the blackberries here are amazing. This is the stupidity of vegans. And I've told you in the past, and I'll say it again. I know I'm so repetitive on this channel, but hey, it's important, right? <laughs> if vegans really wanted change, they would listen to the people that they're trying to advocate to. They would listen when people say, God, it's really hard, but they don't. They go, oh, it's hard. You must be stupid then. You must be evil. Instead of when, 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 when they go and they tell people, you know, it's bad to eat animals. Those people go, yeah, but I don't know what else to do. It's so fucking frustrating. It's so fucking frustrating. Just buy vegetables, Five Head. And then again, and I've made this joke in the past. I'll make it again. Of course, like I said, repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. I don't fucking care. Vegans would be celebrating as the world is literally on fire that Ben and Jerry's launched a new vegan flavor. They'd be like, oh, yeah, oh, it's so good. Mm, as the planet is literally burning and every animal on the planet is about to die. So motherfucking stupid. They... They do not listen. They do not care. Oh, you hate Ben and Jerry's. Okay. Yeah, I know. They're abusing the shit out of the moral high horse. I'm being so based right now. Well, that's... Hey, layman, surprisingly, I'm pretty based in general. I know. What a surprise, right? The thing is... I really want, I want, I want veganism to win. Oh my God. I want it to, I want veganism to win. Oh my God. I love animals. I fucking love my dog. Like my dog lives an amazing life. I love animals. Okay. And I love humans. I want veganism to win, but this shit is so bad. It is actively, it is like active. I'm not kidding you when I say that it actively damages it. If you don't believe that you're just wrong. Go and talk to people. Aubrey, just. Relax. It's all good. It's all good, Aubrey. It's good. It's all good. It's going to be fine. What is a good vegan response to those whose cultural backgrounds are rooted in fishing or hunting? Don't have one. Okay? Don't give a shit. The number of people on the planet, the number of people on the planet who have cultural 
like like literal religious practices that involve the, the consumption of meat is such a small percentage that it doesn't matter. Invest your energy elsewhere. I promise you, please, for the love of God, just let them. Who cares? They are not the problem. They are not your enemy. I'm, there is an argument, but why would you bother having that? Why would you bother tart? Like, I don't know. Yes, there is an argument. The argument is the same for everyone else. The argument is literally the same for anyone else. There are, uh, even if you have cultural attachments, you can argue that it is a moral wrong to engage in that type of animal um, animal consumption. Just the same way as you'd argue with a Christian about the internal the internal inconsistency of Christianity. But it's not an important battlefield. It really isn't. It isn't an important battlefield. We're talking about we're talking about a grain of sand. Yes, like a Fay brings up, I think a strong argument for veganism is the harm that beef production does to the planet. Like there's so much deforestation. Correct. Correct. I almost didn't go vegan because of all the crazy ones. I didn't want to be lumped in with, says Aves L from the YouTube chat. Yup. There are all kinds of reasons to go vegan. I'm serious. Val Nine Thou, in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, there's a restaurant with sentient cows that are bred to be desperate to be served as food. Listen, I met a few people like that in my life, okay? Listen. <laughs> I've met a few people like that, okay? Listen, that is a little corny, all right? The Vor, the Vor people? Yeah. No kink Shea Marino, all right? Darknet Hitman says, The scientific consensus is that humans need to go vegan to avoid total ecological collapse in the next century. What you're doing is anti-science. You're an idiot, Darknet Hitman, and you haven't been listening. You truly haven't been listening. If that's your response, you have not been listening. I am not arguing against veganism, you moron. You absolute clown. You're doing the thing I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about how you actually get people to adopt veganism. How you actually, you know what? Watch this. Hey, hey, dark hitman, dark, dark net hitman. You have, listen up. You hear me? You hear me, Darknet Hitman? Get into the Discord and hop on to debate debate me right now, or I will perma ban you from my chat. This is your opportunity. Come into the chat, come into my come into my Discord and debate me on this. Or you're done. Simple. Simple and easy. Get in the di Oh, I eat plenty of beans. See? See here you're doing it. You're literally doing it right now. Oh, me like, come on in. Come on in, you little coward. You're going to sit here from chat and you're going to try and throw insults? That's that's the advocacy that you got for your veganism? Get in the Discord and advocate for veganism now or get out. Come on. Oh, vegan warrior. Is this what you're going to do? Is this how far you'll go for animals? Is to just run? Is to pop up into a Twitch chat and, and cry? Here we go. This is your chance. Get in the Discord. Get in the Discord. Your last chance, Darknet Hitman. Join the Discord. We'll get you in on a chat. This is your opportunity to advocate for your precious veganism. Come on and see who's the better advocate. Pan, you pulled the trigger too quickly. But they were running anyway. Shame. Shame. As always, the pathetic vegans do nothing. Friedelin Balthazar. Friedelin Balthazar, would you like to talk to me? Friedelin Balthazar from YouTube chat. Would you like to come on and, and have an opportunity to talk to me about this? They said they were running. All right. I don't care. Just like all of the other fucking moral high horse vegans who just want to jerk off in public so that everybody will go, oh, yes, you're so good. Oh, you're so moral. You're so moral. 
No, I don't want. I don't want. <laughs> I appreciate. I appreciate it, Aubrey. But but I I want to talk. I want to talk with the people who disagree with me. Come on in, Friedelin. This is your chance. Come on, get in the Discord. There you go, Friedelin. Click that link, copy that link, and join it. Of course, you have magic goldfish. You sound like a smart vegan. I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not looking to to talk with people that I agree with or who agree with me. Can I pre pretend to disagree? No, I'll ban you. What if I agree but have some concerns? Eh. I don't want to do a call-in stream. I want to debate somebody. Jesus. I want to talk, but as a vegetarian, this take is so fucking good. Thank you. Cosmic Skeptic has a pretty good take on going vegan, but from a philosophical standpoint. All right. Well, we'll see. Oh, the Beyond Burgers are good, by the way. Oh, I've scared them all off. That's, that's for the best, by the way. If if vegans, if I am able to bully, by the way, if I am able to bully uh, stupid vegans um, into, um, if I'm able to bully stupid vegans into not speaking up the way that they do, I would be doing animals a good. Yes, that's right. Me bullying stupid vegans into shutting the fuck up will actually make it more likely for us to achieve like a, a more vegan world. I'm not kidding you. I'm serious. And I know that sometimes, um, all right, cool. We'll talk to Friedelin then. My name is Vegan Gains and I'm here to chew vegan bubblegum and kick Demon Mama's ass. I'm all out of vegan bubblegum. Red Flanagan, are you actually Vegan Gains? I would gladly talk to Vegan Gains. Vegan Gains didn't uh, follow up with me. There's no, like literally people are vegans are so vegans are so stupid about this. They literally don't listen to me saying that I actually agree with them because they want to be right. They want to be right so bad. They will argue with people who agree with them. It's ridiculous. It's so frustrating. And I've been ranting about this for like 30 minutes and it still keeps going. And they're always going to do it. They're just like this. We need to, we, like, I know that there's a lot of bad faith arguments that like, oh, your rhetoric is harming a movement, blah, blah, blah. Anybody can, people can say that. Pe and there are, there are times where that doesn't make any sense and it's not correct. But I think that I'm correct on this. And the fact that the vegan movement has failed as hard as it has. That all they've managed to do in like 40 years of existence is get, get a, a microscopically 